Okay, sound test. All right. So today, I just I finished playing the a little to the left game yesterday or last night. I, I was able to finish the the levels and the DLC, and so I was so happy about it. So I just wanted to play another game. Hopefully, I get to enjoy it with you guys. Okay. The music the music is a little too loud on my end, so I might need to like fix that in a bit. So I'm a little familiar with the, ho the whole puzzle games, but it's still just something like a, it still feels like a new experience on my end. This game is best played sound. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Oh, so... Wait. So it just starts off that way. So I need I need to wait, recollect myself first. One, I have I have like a, a like a small understanding of this. This is kind of like she's going on a journey, and by the time like we get to meet different people or different characters in the game, the music is too loud for me. So I might have to like lower that down. So very loud, huh? Okay. Oh, that's much better. Bag. Um. Wait. Can I turn it? Oh, I can turn it. Click on the clasp to open. <laughs> yes, I know how to open. Thank you so much. Um, click on a toolbox to remove it. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. Looking forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers with this. She does not have anything. My passport. Besides, not many blank pages left now. Individual items, which is I I'm so a confused. wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. I like the little lines. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Okay. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. This is like her diary. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl, and a voice she was longing to hear. Okay, welcome Valer Bella Bella Riva. Very nice, very nice kind of. I don't know what what it what what it is. 
but it's just it feels so serene so i'm really having so much fun and i haven't begun yet and i haven't started it was my first morning in bella riva and i couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore it was a quiet, it's a quiet town. town. Its, it's streets and alleyways, and alleyways basking, basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. sun. In the main, in the main square, square, meanwhile, preparations, preparations were underway for the festival in a few, in a few days, days' time. time. As, As I, I handed, handed out my flyers, flyers I wondered, wondered what the people of Valeriva would need me to fix. So far, so far everything here seems seem perfect. perfect. Yep. I was starting to worry I'd made a Make mistake, a mistake when, I felt when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? Do you know how to fix things, child? <laughs> Wait, I need to put my my myself somewhere that it won't like hit anything. Okay, I'm gonna put it down there. Fix things. It was a little girl. A little girl, maybe. Maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged, rummaged around, around in her in backpack, backpack until, until she held a battered red, red cassette. cassette deck. My tape is broken, broken and I can't make it work anymore. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I try to fix, fix it, myself, it myself, but there's this, there's metal, this metal thing, thing in the way. In Can you try? What a metal thing. What metal thing? Get it. Sorry, sorry. Oh, so now we're fixing... Wait, what am I supposed to do? Okay, we're gonna fix it, child. Don't worry. I'm gonna fix it. The metal thing. Where's the metal thing, child? So there's screws, so I guess I have to fix it that way. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I have to move it. Sorry. I was like... What am I supposed to do? Oh. Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Oh no. I have to pencil it out. Oh wait, what? How am I supposed to fix it? Oh, I just turned my mouse. Easy. Hey, what? Wait, what? I can't just remove it th like that? Easy? I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I should have just left it there. And then what? Um, okay. Oh, no. Wait, what? <laughs> I think I need to fix this first. Here. Oh, wait. Can you go back there? And then. I think I need to pencil this out. Oh Why my did god. You do that? No questions, child. No questions. As a music plays... When it finished, Izzy picked up, picked the, up the tag and, and tuck it carefully into her backpack. Backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. Oh. Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would That's never so be cute. able to fill. When, when Izzy's, Izzy's friend called, called her, her, she dug, she dug deep, deep into her, her pockets, pockets looking, looking for something, for something to, pay to pay me with. Eventually, Eventually she, she produced, produced a grand total of, of a, a stick, stick of, gum, of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. Hey, I'll get the yo-yo. If you don't want it, I'll get it. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious. I wrote out a full receipt. Aww. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, 
part, part of her, her life, life has been shattered. shattered. Oh. Part I wouldn't be able to fix. This is an adventure. All in all, baby. Good night, my darling. Story 3. How many stories do we have? I explore. Oh, 13. Dang. Okay. Shattered. My first repair complete. I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least. Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. I like the, the background um, like movements, like the chair or like the creaking of a wood. It's so nice. It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and do you think you can salvage it? Oh, very nice. I mean, of course, lad. Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Fear not, lad. Fear not. Shit. Shit, I fucked up. Can I clear it up? Can I clear it up? <laughs> I feel so bad. Wait. Oh yeah, let's start from here. From the bottom. Uh, okay. Wait, does he stand on this ground thing? Oh, I just have to... Hold on, hold on. Let me get my coffee. You can only... You can only do the settings for the audio. Why is that? Go back here, young lad. I'm not done with you yet. This is such... This is uncomfortable for in my end. Like, the sensitivity of my mouse is not really... I don't know if that's it's the sensitivity of the game itself. Can I just like do this like that? Like Will I be like a failure if I made it into like the glue sticking out of the the pieces? Would I be a jerk? Would they rate me zero for this work of art? Okay, okay. And then, I for, I don't know what's next. Where's his torso? No, I think the leg first. Wow. I am so smart. I don't even need to look. Wait, wait. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Marilyn, Marilyn, Marilyn. Where's the other foot? This is not real. It's like, it's like grabbing the glue so hard. It's so just so sad. Wait, torso. Shit. Wait, my bad. Can I just glue? Where's his leg? Oh, maybe this is the leg. Sometimes oh. I think my daughter should come with a warning label. Hey, don't uh, don't don't kid your child like that. Children are nice if they have a cassette and their mom's singing voice in it, right? Think about it. Not all kid does have that or does that. I don't know. I'm not grabbing anything. It's just so hard to glue this thing. Holy. I'm trying to make it as relaxing as I could, but I can't. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, there's more. Wait, let me glue the torso part.
the glue is so small but it has a lot of A lot of what? I don't know. Oh shit. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Shh. Don't ask the masterpiece. Do not, do not. Do not with me, child. Do not. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> it looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. Sorry. I'm a little tired. Mm. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again? When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. It's a little nice story, but I didn't like doing the glue thing. I don't know why. It just makes me f ugh, like that. Like ugh, it's so hard. My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers mm. cradling their morning <clears throat> coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. I was about to go inside. When the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria? Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. Her place was pet It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some uh, seasoning tips, but it won't connect. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? We're going to fix her phone. Period. Queen. I got you, Queen. Your your business will boom someday. Don't you can't fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. Shh, shh, chill, chill, chill. You're making me nervous, sister. You're making me nervous. I swear. <laughs> I don't know why, but fl flyers. Oh. I'm just trying to figure it out first. Wait a minute. These connections aren't quite right. I should check the wiring. Can I irritate you? There we go. I was like, why can I? Why can I do anything? Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. Yes, yes, I understand. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. I'm just here to fix your phone and you'll be on your merry way. And I'm sure your business will do great in the future. Oh shit. Wait, what? So what, what do we do next? Maybe I have to like handle this. Oh, this is broken. That's the bell, golden bell is for for that. Uh, 
Oh, I need to open this ba. Oh, it's burnt. Why is it burnt? What? Where can I put this? I can just put it there. Um, okay. I have to remove this. Maybe... I want to use the other one. There. Looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up. Wait, what? No, that's not good. That's not the right, like, right sequence. Hold on. Just trying to. There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? Oh, there. Wait, wait. I think I'm missing out something. Hold on. Yeah, I'm missing out something. Like, there's something... Maybe not. Did I put it right? I did. Yeah. I did not miss anything out. I'm smart. I'm smart like that, Boro. Looks like something is still missing. still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? Oh, wait! Oh. No, no, no. I did miss something. Did I? missing oh I need to screw this thing I forgot that's all I think that's all right yeah Make sure I screw everything back together. Yeah, I did it. When I handed the phone back to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. I sat at one of the empty tables while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. How's my favorite sister doing today? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. 
I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee, her hands trembling. Sorry about that. Uh, my sister's decided to fly in for a visit. <sighs> oh, God, I have to get ready. Actually, I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? Of course. I got you. I got you, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Camera. The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. Are you here about the camera? It's about time. The woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. Inside her room, I saw... The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong? Yes, I got you. Sister of my friend. Not really. Oh my god, that's broken, broken. I don't suppose you've fixed anything this valuable before. How dare you? I fixed my life. That's more valuable than this camera. I guess. Hmm. Let's see. Can we grab it from here? If I use the screwdriver, I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Where should it? Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. Uh, a quick question. How? <laughs> how do I... How do I bring everything back? Uh, okay, it's just... It just guides me. Don't worry about it. Wait, no. Am I right? No. Wait. Just have to close this down. Put this above. Mm. You need a battery? Why is there a battery there? Wait, I think I missed out on something. I think that the battery should be... What is this, though? It's the film! Right? Am I right? Like... Yeah, I was right. I was, like, so confused. Like, why is it... I need to change my sense. It's not really good for... Her. Looks like something is still missing. Wait! Shh! Don't.
We did it. Easy. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me three months' salary. But it was worth it. Right. I had no idea what three months' salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? It's called being careful with your money. She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hope Helena. Carmen was ready. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Carmen's. Are we able to help Carmen in the future? Like fixing her stuff, you know? The sun was setting over Bellariva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it. Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with it. Oh, we're going to fix the light. Okay. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. The thing about signs is that if you don't have one in your, like, in your, in your business or your small business or whatever, it just won't pop. I don't know why how that is i think it's because of the colors the lighting and everything that a signage could do for your for like that small or startup so it's, it's really it's a really great thought for that i'd like to put it up before helena gets here can you give it a try of course of course i shall give it a try this is your what is this oh we can open it wait let me open it then. Oh, screws. My sensitivity is so like so baba, like it's so low that I just have to crank my mouse all the way from Luzon to Visayas real quick. <laughs> um, so what's wrong here? Wait, what? Wait. We don't need you yet. I don't think. Yeah, we don't need you yet. Glue? Oh, I have to glue this. Okay. Can I like... Do I have to fill it out? Because I can... I kind of feel like I shouldn't. But then I... I am doing it anyway. Okay. Great. Um, what next? I think I have to flip it over. To. Is it done? At all? I don't think so. I have to like use the connectors. Oh shit! What the fuck? Is 
Is that it? I don't know, it's a bit... Uh, flat. Maybe if it flashes, it'll really catch people's eye. Great idea. I think I have a spare part that could do that. Oh, that's why, yeah. Bitch! Oh, I have the glue. Sorry, 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 sorry. Glowing, 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 glowing. Put back. Add. Perfect. Where should I connect this? No, there's something off. Hmm. It still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. Great. More work. I got you. You gotta pay me good for this. I don't know why I can't glue it. Pizza looks nice. I'll try that. It works. I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. And there's something wrong. Oh, I think that's just how it is. I think the whole thing is supposed to light up. Yeah, I know. Because I haven't done that. Still a few parts missing. I don't know why it's not lighting up. I think that's like the edges. The sign fixed. We had it outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. The smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. A 
Of course. My sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had arrived. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. Just put it! We just put it! What the hell? And with that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with... We need the sign, okay? We need it. What the hell do you want me to do, huh? Pulling up. This is another encounter. It was the day before the festival and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. I barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. Psst, psst. Maria, I need your help. Psst. Quickly, it's Tom. I need your help quickly. It was Izzy. Peeking, Peeking out, out from the, the side, side of the house, of the house. She, she beckoned for me, for me to, to follow her. her. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but uh, it won't turn on anymore. Can you fix it for me? Of course. Why does it sound so scary? It wasn't like that before. <laughs> it sounds scary because you did something to it, man. Mad lad. Okay, I think I have to remember this or no? I think it's just okay. What is this? Oh, is this like the 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 discs? Hey, what did I do? Oh wait, I have to put this back. What the hell? I'm glad I clicked that. I almost missed that. Is it working? Still 
sounds really bad. What did we do wrong? I think I need to fix the... That's not what the game looked like before. Is it broken again? No, I'm just dumb, Holly. No, no, no. Resume. Oh, shit. I, f I think I forgot something. Do grown-ups play games as well? Still sounds really bad. Okay. Let me get into the back again. Hold on. Gonna get a this. Maybe just align it. I'm not sure. That is right. Oh, maybe I have to make sure it's green. Ah, okay. Okay. Did it. Can you show me how to play? I tried before, but it was so hard. You want me to play too? So easy. You have to pay me for Her playing toy with you. Fix. I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. Well, I'd better head inside. Mm -hmm. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Why would he think that? Because, uh... Well, I kind of dropped it. Really hard. You dropped wall. it on the wall. How is that physically, scientifically allowed? Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. My dad, My dad said I have, have to go to a stupid, stupid festival, festival tomorrow. tomorrow. He put on a stupid dress. No, I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. Go, girl. With that, Izzy dove back through the rosebush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling, too. Understandable. Have a great day. Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? We don't. I was so focused on we the don't. We never do. <laughs> Maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. We never do understand unless it's too late. It's always like that. Level oh, watch. It's it's getting a little complicated or complex. Leaving then, Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked as around all to the games front of the house do. and rang the doorbell. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls covered in grass stains. 
I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Maria, what are you doing? What happened to your clothes? Um, I fell into the wall. <laughs> I was uh, repairing, repairing a lawn mower. How unusual. Well, do come in. The job I've got for you is a little more delicate. Totally Don't tell me I have to glue again. I walked into an orderly oh, the watch. room I forgot. papers and ledgers. So this was his office. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. Right. I'll be declaring the best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which... He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Um, let's make it tick. Talk. Tick, tick, talk. Let me... Let me just fix something real quick. There's something wrong. No, nothing really. Nothing wrong, it's just that I'm fixing my... Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden. It was only then I noticed. I was, uh, repairing, a uh, lawn. I'll be declaring the... I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Are you sure it will all fit back together? Bro, trust me. What the hell? My screwdrivers never miss, so don't worry, sir. We are on it. <laughs> Love always. Maybe this is from her wife. The main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. The cogs look good, though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. Watch her so delicate. I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me. Yes, I knew it. How am I going to supposed to fix it? Ah, 
What the hell? Why did I pause? No, no. Resume. What do I do? I don't know. Oh, I have to remove it from the broken pieces. It is broken. Fully broken. I think that was the right one. No worry, right thing to do. No, it has to like connect somehow. Just don't know. It has to move. There we go. I got you, Chief. Don't worry about it, Chief. Yeah, yeah. As I handed the watch back to Joseph, my fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward. I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. Feeling this ticking on my wrist, it makes me feel like she's still here. Oh, that is so sweet. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. Even with Isabel, I barely see her. And when I do, she acts like she hates me. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Maria. I have to take this. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow. As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office, his watch glinting in the afternoon sun. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy days to come. This game, somehow like the story behind the people are so stressful while the music was like, Oh, we're so calm. Nothing, nothing to worry about here. <laughs> when my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out, or at least I am. Carmen's not helping, as usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Fix it. Look at this slide projector. <laughs> Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? Sure, dear Leah, sure. This is so nice, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay. 
Okay, supposedly you have to unscrew things. There's four sides. There's four screws. Mm. This one. And then this one. Open it, put it here. What's this junk? Light bulb is completely smashed. Okay. I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. Redirect, huh? Um, how are we gonna do that, Sissy? Oh, there's bulbs here. That redirect the light here. Yeah, let me remove this first. I can't I can't put the two together. Hold on. I need to okay. I need to aim it above. Oh, typical. Commons even managed to get a slide stuck in here. I need to aim it above. If I'm not mistaken. I mean that was already right, right? I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. Don't blame your sister. I need to put it inside, right? Oh, this is the chip things. Something is still missing. When we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. She used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy. Oh. Time to screw everything again. Let's not screw up our life. 
I should make sure I screw everything back together. I am doing that. It's so nice. I like that. Buddy. Nice brand. Buddy. Elena was transfixed. Staring at the two young sisters, the projector had brought glaringly into focus. I... Oh, I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I oh, that's why. have nothing. Shame on I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I, I can't. can't. Not, not time. time. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can mm -hmm. I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Helena fell silent. Shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> what if I lose her too? You won't. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. You won't. Why am I comforting her? She can't even hear me. <laughs> You're in a game and I'm in the reality. I cannot share my thoughts with you. The day of the festival finally came and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here! Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? No. Helena was supposed to sure. help me stall today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me! Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it no. up and make me spare back? No, I don't want to do this anymore. Fuck you, fuck you. I mean, yeah, sure. Carmen's car. Why can't I put you here? Carmen's oh, her recipe is a bit veggie soup. Never one mind. pot of stock, sure one four stick of half carrot, two broccoli, four flor florets, handful of chopped tomatoes, three wild mushroom worms, plenty of. What the hell is that? Plenty of what? Water? Clover. Lover. Broth. I have to fix this first, right? I mean, sh suppose, supposedly I'm gonna fix it. That is my job. I don't know how to fix a... Fire hazard item. Surely I know how to do this. Right? It all fits. Now to light the gas. Why are you so happy about this? Why? No, that's that's broth. So, we need a fire. I thought the, the leaves are like a part of the item.
What do I do with this? Okay, guide me. There's no fire. Something's missing and I don't know what. What am I missing? missing I what think that pot is really boiling now it I just have to like I say so myself. drag it here here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me what to add first Pot of stock One one fourth stick of carrot. Half half stick of half a carrot. Huh? I don't know what I'm doing. Two broccoli. Looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. Handful of chopped. Handful of. Handful. Chopped tomatoes. I don't know what a handful is. Just gotta put everything there. Three wild bush. One. Two. Three. Plenty of. What is that? L leftover cheese? I don't know what that was. I just put cheese in it. I was like, you know what? That, that'll taste My good. My part done. Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time. And a moment later, Joseph arrived with Izzy and Is he in town? Carmen anxiously handed them both a serving. That was so tasty. Can I have some more, please? Well, you've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then, I've asked so much of her over the years. I never stopped to think how much she actually had to give. That's good that you realize things. That's important. The festival finished. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train and leave Bella Riva behind. I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So that evening, I made my way to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Best food in Bella Riva. Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Dude, I was part of it. We were part of it. We, Maria, we cooked. Maria. My favorite if I sous chef, even if I couldn't come on through. Cook. 
It was Carmen I was able to cook here. acting every inch the successful cafe owner she deserved to be. Even Helena was there, serving the coffees. This was the last place I expected to see her after yesterday's drama. Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record player. I found out where Helena was on the day of the festival. She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts. Oh, we herself. fixed that. So I've asked her to come and stay with me for a while. We have a lot of catching up to do. That's so sweet. I wanted to give her this to cheer her up. We listened to it all the time when we were kids. Do you think it has one last tune in it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We got you, baby. We got you. Okay, don't worry about it what happens don't worry about it don't worry about it i know what i'm doing i i don't know what i'm here's the problem this wiring isn't connected properly that's easy just put it to another wiring this one is okay that's it wait no <laughs> i'm so confused like what what is this um here no where do I connect this? So wait. Come here. Because I can't see it properly. There. Mm. This goes to sound. This is like, this is, That's the speed dial connected. Now we should be able to change it. I think that should do it. This record should play beautifully. Uh, I almost did not see this, so I, I almost not know what to do. Almost. Hmm, it's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play in the right direction? 
asked me to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spares can turn things around. Just have to do it again, I guess. I just don't know where. Maybe this one. If I turn the volume up, I should be able to hear it now. Model. Model seven. Ah, right, there you go. Let's try that, it would work. Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning at the correct speed. Yeah. I fixed it. The record player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carl. I got your I got your girl. I got your girl. Leaning over the music, they, they look, look just, just like, like the, the young sisters, sisters the slide projector, projector had preserved all, all these years. years. Inseparable, Inseparable once again. Aw, that's so cute. Norman told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants to be. I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Make up for lost time. Good. Carmen good, good, good. and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And, and that's what... It had all started because of a call yeah. Carmen made about some seasoning tips. And that's what matters. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. I wanted to hear their voices more than anything. But the silence between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it. A father's surprise. Oh, we're gonna fix like a like My a final like a little. morning in Bellariva, I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack, but I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills on the back of her cassette deck. You've made quite the impression. Isabel, Izzy, tells me she's going to be a repair woman like Maria. <laughs> I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. I wanted That's to give good her to know. Before she starts to forget. Inside, the house was transformed flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Bellariva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. It's a music box. It used to play beautifully, but now when I wind it up, nothing happens. Because it's broken. Easy to hear it sing again. Can you help? Of course, brother. Don't worry about it, brother. Just have to unscrew. Unscrew. Put it here. Put it there. Put it everywhere. Here. Maria, could you add this family picture of us? 
Oh, that's so cute. Yes, yeah, so uh, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm here to fix to do that. Just that. Don't worry about it. I need to open it, but how? This is broken. I need to fix this one. But how? Is that supposed to be broken? I don't think it's supposed to be broken. I I think we just need to put it back together. What? <laughs> what if I don't complete it? Like, what is still? Oh, it would still stick. That's great. That's good to know. It's not working. I want to know why. Oh shit. I did I almost didn't see that. mechanism is completely broken. I'll need to take it all apart before I can fix it. Perfect. The mechanism is good as new. Show me the money. Close it. Why is there a bird there? I, I was supposed to take it out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, we we're supposed to take it out.
I think that's everything back together again. My wife I should play it to sing make sure. song to Izzy each night before bed. But I always work too late to join them. They talked at the same time. It was so funny. Will you dream a dream for me? Or I sit by your side and hold you so tight. Oh, it feels like my non-existent father would sing me this. <laughs> Good night. Good night. So cute. I've missed so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. I've ended up so much like my own father. Working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that. Especially now it's just the two of us. My daughter comes first. Well, not until she gets bored of her stuffy old dad anyway. I'll never ever get bored of you, Dad. Izzy came running into the room where Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulders. She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I'd never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me. I'm so glad to have them back. You're welcome, Chief. Don't worry Joseph about it. Joseph was a good father. And I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to it, that was all any of us wanted. A second chance to make something right. Period, Queen. My time in Bellarivo <laughs> is almost over, but before I left... I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. My family or what? My stuff. I don't know. My time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they taught me so much about what was really important. Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop, the day I left. Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them, to apologize. It was a guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. It's time to go back to my family. Helena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. Oh, that's from my train ticket. Easy. I can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. Izzy gave me this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. This is such a chill game. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. My suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bellariva behind, but I hoped that in my own small way, I'd made a difference. You did, Elena girl. And Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Period, queen. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. Aww, that's so sweet. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us, but I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Did I even remember their number? No, I you wasn't don't. sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. Dial. Mom? Dad? Maria? Oh, is that you? What's your tweet? Yes, it's me, Mama. That's it. Oh, I like the story is very, it's very heavy on like family family connection wise but i like it i like it so much so she's gonna go back to her family is that it is that the game i finished it in less than an hour is there more epilogue okay hey we get to do something else 
That's so sweet. I like this story. It's giving... It's giving fun. Dear Maria, come in here. Sorry I haven't written. The cafe it's giving fun? What the fuck are we talking about? Since you left. Enjoyed it. Luckily, I have Helena here to it's help. It's a reconnection between her. families. She's like a new woman. Just, it just makes you feel like, hey, nothing is impossible through small small actions. It 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 somehow kind of connected connects people, even on the smallest gist of of action. It'll change someone. It'll change a person's life. You just don't know it, but. It just does wonder. And I like this game. It gives that thought of in a whole different perspective. She's always running around, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowling shirts, but each to their own. It certainly made the customer smile. She misses the city, though. Bellariva's many things, but... It's definitely not as chic as she'd like. She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a shape drawn on top. It got me thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. A bit of cosmopolitan coffee might be just what Helena needs. Putting a leaf on a cappuccino, I don't think that's a good combo. Of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to put the thing together. So you're going to make a coffee thing. I saw Maria use her screwdriver a million times. Taking this apart will be easy. Yes. I'm the one who's doing all the jobs. I'm Maria. Maria is I. I embody Maria. What is going These pipes on? These look pretty simple. I should start with them. Um, pipes. What do I do with pipes? The, is it friendly? <laughs> Maybe I should focus on the pipes first. They look easy. Uh. Uh. Oh, pipes. Okay, right. Got it. Gotcha. I'll need to connect all the pipes correctly to stop the steam pouring out. That steam doesn't look good. There must be something wrong with the pipes. Let me, let me cook, bitch. How can there be so much steam? Ugh, I'm getting soaked. I think... Wait, wait, I can't see! I can't see. I can find the pipes very well. What's happening here? Why is there so much steam? That can't be right. So there's, so there's no color in it anymore. That means I have to like... Rec wait, wait, I'm so confused. I have to connect it to a different light. I'm so confused. Are we balling this game? I mean, easy. Not even close. Not even hard. Finally, no more steam. Is this cookie? Oh, it's boss. I thought it was going to be a part of it. <laughs> what the hell am I doing?
I say I don't know what that is for. Hold your horse, sis. Finally, no more steam. Where is this supposed to be connected to? It's connected to those wires, I see. So three. Three, three. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Hold, hold, hold. Wait, what? Coffee. Oh, so the... Did I do it right? Yeah, three. Oh, it did connect to the coffee. I'm so confused. Oh wait, I need to I think I need to make sure that it it stays green on this side. It's still red, I guess. I okay. And then to coffee. I think I remembered. The coffee. So the three goes the three goes to the coffee. Wait, this is so like annoying.
There's something wrong. I just don't know what. I'm missing something. Oh my god, are you shitting me? I almost did not see that. <laughs> I think so. It looks like I've forgotten a screw. Oh, the inside, holy. Yeah. I think I did it all right, no? I think I, think I did that's everything. Better test the buttons just to make sure. I already did. All done. Piece of cake. Time to make my first coffee, I think. Did we do a great job, or I'm just fucked? We did it. We did it. I was so nervous. I thought like she was like so... She was so reluctant to tell me that she did good, so... Now to make it look magical.
Mmm, a perfect coffee. All it needs is a saucer and a couple of Helena's favourite biscuits. I, that is, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I was feeling more has been than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. It looked a bit, uh, mm, postmodern, but knowing Helena's refined tastes, I hoped she'd think it was intentional. Always the connoisseur. <laughs> she didn't even bother to look at it at first. She was so busy wafting it under her nose. Steamed up her glasses, of course. How was she going to see my work of art through an eye full of fog? When she finally spotted it, though, she was totally impressed. <laughs> I did that painting, like the brush, the, the thing you do with brush, like the first stroke. It kind of looked like that. I'll admit, she spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. She decided it was probably a horse. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. She was impressed enough to ask for another one. <laughs> it wasn't a hurt. Guess I'll need to get some practice in. The whole thing was such hard work, Maria. I never realized how difficult it was, all that mechanical stuff. It made me realize how much I have to thank you for, so I wanted to say that now. Better latte than never. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Hoping you're well. Your friend, Carmen. Oh wow, it's all done. I did it. That was so chill. That was so chill. That was just, uh, the story. I enjoyed the story so much. So, yeah. Wait, what? It the game was kind of like a like a fresh fresh drink, if you may. So that's it. Nothing follows there. Like so, look at this settings oh pwede palang baguhin yung graphics should have turned this off oh i already it's already done what else do you want me to do that's so nice actually it was so light and like every every dialogue just is so like so arranged and it's so beautiful. I really like it. I would I would play this again if I'm bored, you know? Okay, I think that's it. That's it for me. I enjoyed this because you were able to like interact in the game as you as you fixed it. So that's so nice. Okay, that's it for me. <sighs> bye bye. GG's. I hope everyone enjoyed the game. I really did enjoy it. So, bye bye.